Before removing the Statlock Pick Plus stabilization device, remove the overlying transparent dressing. To do so, use the stretch technique. Always work from the distal portion of the catheter toward the insertion site to avoid pulling the catheter. In order to stabilize the catheter and prevent migration, you may wish to leave a strip of transparent dressing over the insertion site. Or if you choose to remove the entire dressing, simply apply a gloved finger to the catheter near the insertion site. Use either method to maintain the catheter's position throughout the Statlock device removal. You are now ready to remove the Statlock PIC Plus stabilization device using a simple two-step procedure. Just disengage the catheter and dissolve the adhesive. Before opening the Statlog PIC Plus stabilization device, first stabilize the catheter. Then with the other hand, lift one edge of the lid and it will open. Repeat the procedure to open the other lid and lift out the catheter. All Statlock devices have a custom formulated adhesive that is alcohol soluble. Therefore, to remove the Statlock device anchor pad, simply take three to four alcohol pads and squeeze a generous amount of alcohol near the edge of the pad. Then lift the edge and continue to stroke the undersurface with alcohol while gently lifting. Disengage and dissolve. Depending on your preference, you may choose to dissolve prior to disengaging. Removing the Statlock device is that simple. Now let's consider frequently asked questions about the usage of the Statlock PIC Plus stabilization device. Listen closely, as these five points are guaranteed to benefit both you and your patients. We use Betadine as part of our insertion site prep. Can we place the Statlock device on top of the dried Betadine, or should we remove Betadine when preparing the Statlock device securement site? Betadine dries as a powder and interferes with the Statlock device's adherence. Therefore, always remove Betadine with alcohol. Then apply skin protectant to the securement site and allow each to dry completely. Pick lines often ooze for the first several hours. Should the Statlock device be applied immediately after pick insertion or after the oozing stops? Apply the Statlock device immediately after pick insertion to prevent accidental dislodgement or catheter migration. If oozing occurs after insertion, apply a 2x2 two two gauze over and or under the catheter at the insertion site. Some clinicians apply a gentle pressure dressing. What if blood or betadine gets on the Statlog PIC Plus device anchor pad? The Statlog device anchor pad is made of closed cell foam and will not absorb fluids. If you wish to clean the pad, do not use alcohol. Instead, use sterile saline or hydrogen peroxide and gently blot the pad. What if the PIC catheter does not have wings? Can I still secure it with the Statlog PIC Plus stabilization device? Some manufacturers include a soft attachable wing in the catheter kit. If this is the case, simply secure the soft wing to the catheter and use the Statlock PIC Plus device as instructed. If no such attachable wing is available, use the Statlock IV adult stabilization device to secure the catheter. I want x-ray confirmation of the catheter tip position prior to affixing the Statlock PIC Plus stabilization device. This often takes time. What do I do in the meantime for catheter fixation? Many clinicians do the following. Prep the securement site. Press the catheter into the Statlock PIC Plus device as instructed. Then expose only a small portion of the Statlock device adhesive and place it on the skin to secure the catheter temporarily. Cover with a gauze and transparent dressing and obtain the x-ray. Once the catheter's position is confirmed, remove the overlying transparent dressing and gauze. Notice how the gauze prevents the transparent dressing from adhering to the Statlock device. Now, reposition the catheter and the Statlock device as appropriate. Then peel away the paper backing and place the anchor pad firmly on the securement site. 
What if I wish to place a pick line all the way into the hilt? Will the Statlock Pick Plus stabilization device still work? Notice that the Statlock Pick Plus crescent pad is designed with a notch on top. This notch allows you to place the Statlock device extremely close to the insertion site. But remember, the Statlock stabilization device increases the average pick catheter dwell time. The few millimeters of additional catheter exposure, which the Statlock device may require, are far outweighed by its clinical and cost benefits. I worry about pistoning of pick lines placed in the antecubital vein. Can the Statlock device help to alleviate this problem? Remember, pistoning is primarily a consequence of the catheter's point of entry. Nevertheless, the Statlock device can help to alleviate in and out motion of the catheter. Either place the Statlock device on the diagonal from the insertion site, or form an S with the catheter leading from the insertion site to the Statlock securement site. Both methods serve well to limit catheter motion. How long should the Statlock Pick Plus stabilization device be left in place? The Statlock Pick Plus stabilization device is designed to secure pick and midline catheters for up to seven days. So clinicians generally change the Statlock device when they do their weekly insertion site care. However, if your institution's policy requires more frequent care, you may allow the Statlock device to remain in place during interim dressing changes. Again, the Statlock device need only be changed weekly. What if the transparent dressing adheres tightly to the Statlock device lids? How do I remove it? Before removing the transparent dressing, apply alcohol to the dressing where it contacts the Statlock device lids. This will allow for easy removal. Thank you for taking the time to become Statlock device efficient. Now your patients can benefit from Statlock stabilization devices designed to improve patient comfort while you enjoy greater safety. The Statlock Pick Plus stabilization device is faster, easier, and safer than tape and suture securement.